is our universe predictable? Like, let's take away quantum mechanics. That's a different show, and I've done episodes about that, about predictability and quantum mechanics and what that means. Let's just talk about, like, the universe. Like, the whole conceit of physics is that you have a system you're studying something you're studying a, you know a ball falling down an inclined plane you're studying the weather you're studying the evolution of galaxies whatever and it has some state like okay this is the position and the velocities and all the thingies that describe everything in the system then you have the laws of physics that tell us how that system evolves with time and you can predict the future. I mean, this is this is what physics does. Like, okay, this is what things are like right now. And then five seconds from now, this is what things are going to be. And I can do that because I know the laws of physics. This is something called determinism. We can determine the future. And it seems like even with quantum mechanics, uh, and again, I encourage you to Look at my video I did at some point in the past. Real helpful there. Uh, all of physics is deterministic. The universe is deterministic. Once you know how the universe is right now, and you know the laws of physics, you know how it's going to be in the future. Except when it isn't. This gets into this very surprising um, and somewhat uncomfortable side of physics that we first had inklings of in the 1800s, but really didn't get going into the mid 20th century, where a deterministic system, like you know, a, a physical system that obeys the laws of physics is totally unpredictable. And yet, physics guides like the laws of physics still apply everything's known you know everything there is to know the physics still applies and yet you can't make predictions about it this is chaos theory sorry i have notes down here and i was mincing it and was making little beepy sounds will i edit that out probably not <laughs> I, I want to give you an example i want to give you an example i want to talk about a pendulum so if you have a single pendulum Let's pretend this is a pendulum and you start it like over here and you're holding it down. You're like, okay, ready, ready guys. All right, do it. And it starts doing its pendulum thing. You know, the laws of physics, you know, gravity, air resistance, you know, friction, all that you calculate that, you know, exactly what this pendulum is going to do. And let's simplify the problem. Let's say there's no air resistance. There's no friction. There's just gravity. You hold on to the pendulum like this and you let it go. It just does this pendulum thing and you know exactly forever and ever and ever into the future exactly where that pendulum will be at any point in time. You're just like, okay, in five seconds, I know where it's going to be. It's going to be, oh, oh, yep, it's exactly where I said it was going to be. Told you so. Right? Laws of physics, deterministic. What if you took a pendulum and you put another pendulum underneath it? Like you attached one pendulum to the bottom of another pendulum. And so you can, you can have this. Now, this system with two pendulums, like you can wiggle like this, it can wiggle like this, or they can both do their own independent thing and my wrists are getting tired. Same gravity, same laws of physics, same pendulum. Now you just got two of them. Completely unpredictable. Completely and totally unpredictable motion. You can start it off. You can start that pendulum off and you say, okay, I know where it's going to go in the future because I know gravity. I know how pendulums act like this is just pretty straightforward, right, folks? You know, within a few seconds, you've completely lost track of it. It's, 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 you predict it to be over here, but it's over here. You expect them to line up like this and they're like this. Like, it's just totally unpredictable. You have no idea. And you're like, okay, 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 hold on. Let's do the experiment. So you take... You take the pendulum and you bring it back to the same exact starting point that you had from before. You're like, let's just redo this. Like, I want to map it. Same exact starting point as before. Completely different motion. Totally unpredictable. Last time after 10 seconds over here. Now after 10 seconds over here. Last time after 10 seconds, they're all lined up. Now after 10 seconds, they're, they're quickly unpredictable so you do it again different result you do it again different result you do it again different result unpredictability and yet 
And yet, same laws of physics apply. It's still just gravity. It's still just pendulums. It appears totally random and it appears chaotic. A single pendulum, predictable, non-chaotic. Two pendulums attached to each other, an unpredictable, chaotic system. Why is this? Well, the hallmark of a chaotic system is one, the equations governing them must be what we call nonlinear. And the other key ingredient in a chaotic system is something we call sensitivity to initial conditions. This is when you pulled the pendulum over to the exact same starting point. It wasn't the exact same starting point. I mean, you were off by like, you know, maybe a quarter of an inch. And that led to a completely different result. But but let's say you like zoomed in with the microscope and everything. You're off. Like if you're off by like one atom from your first attempt, completely unpredictable. If you're off by half an atom, completely different. If you're left off by the width of an atomic nucleus, completely different. If you're off by the width of a proton, completely different. If you're off by the width of a quark, completely different. You will never ever be in the exact same starting position ever. And because of the way the equations turn out with the motion of the two pendulums coupled together, you will end up with completely different results. This makes it essentially unpredictable. And that's life. Thank you so much for watching. Please go to patreon.com slash PM Sutter, where you can keep these videos going. It's how I eat and pay rent, folks. So I really appreciate it. I also have to make videos too about science. And uh, like, share, subscribe, do it. Uh, you are completely unpredictable. I cannot predict what you guys are about to do. And, and so I, I hope it's something nice.